Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on factorising the difference of two squares. Now we have the difference of two squares when we have a difference, i.e. a subtraction of two things. And both of those things are squared things. It could be a square number or it could be some variable squared. So we can see 4 is a square number, 25 is a square number, 1 is a square number. And then x squared is something squared, isn't it? It's x squared. That's y squared. And this is something squared as well. Now when that happens, what you do is you can factorise it into two brackets. Remember, factorise means to put it into brackets. It's the opposite of expanding. And when you have a difference of two squares, you put a plus in the middle of one bracket, a minus in the middle of the other. And then what you do is you take the first term and you do the square root of it. What's the square root of x squared? What times itself gives you x squared? Well, it's x, isn't it? x times x would give you x squared. And so you put that as the first thing of each bracket, and then what's the square root of the second thing? Ignoring the minus in the middle, what's the square root of 4? Well, it's 2. So you put 2 here and 2 here. And if you were to expand these brackets, you would indeed get x squared minus 4. What about the second one? We've got y squared minus 25. We have two brackets again. And this is a difference two squares, because it's a difference, a subtraction of two squared things. Difference two squares. We put a plus in the middle of one bracket, minus in the middle of the other, or minus and plus doesn't really matter. And then, what's the square root of the first term? What's the square root of y squared? Well, it's y, because y times itself is y squared. And what's the square root of 25? Again, forgetting this minus, the square root of 25 is 5. And by the way, the order does matter. It would be wrong to write 5 plus y, 5 minus y, because that wouldn't be the same as this. And then finally, slightly hard one, 9x squared minus 1, two brackets again, plus in the middle one, minus in the middle of the other, now, what's the square root of 9x squared? Well, if you think the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of x squared is x, so it's 3x. 3x times 3x would give you 9x squared. So don't forget to square root the 9. And then what's the square root of 1? Well, it's just 1. 1 squared is 1, and we get that.